you have a problem, the horns don't work, let's just skim through the schematic very fast. Now I'm just going to go through the sim si systems that you have, the systems for the uh, Hondas, and how they work uh, quickly. So let's go through this. Okay, how at all times, that means it's always connected, right? There's no run, start position, it's always hot. Here's a relay that we know, the horn relay. What activates the horns? Obviously, they call this the cable reel in the steering wheel, right? So that's when you press the steering wheel, right? And you make the contact, and then that mechanical allows the electrical wire, electrical current uh, connection to, to flow. To be completed, without interfering with the without interfering with the electrical uh, connection, so they call this cable reel. The different names for it, but anyway, that's what Honda gives it. That's what it is. So anyway, now depending on the make of the model that you have, this is the LX. This is the EX. Let's say we have the LX. So first thing is first, we have a diode here. A diode has to conduct. Now. A diode also has polarity, so this this is called the anode. This is called the cathode. The anode is more positive than the cathode, so the anode should be connected to through the fuse to to the positive part of the battery. If if you have the negative, this will not conduct, and therefore it will protect this relay. So it's used like a protection circuit. So in other words, the positive is connected to this one. If you make a mistake and let's say, oh, okay, I, uh, I uh, let's say I, t I give a boost, and by giving a boost, I put the negative instead of the positive, positive and negative. Well, this will not conduct. It'll be open circuit. It will not allow this to conduct. Okay, so protection circuit, you can say. Okay. Also, sometimes they have another another things. Also, uh, we've seen it many times. But anyway, this is what it is. So this is called the control block over here. First current has to go here. Now, since we're dealing with an LX, we're dealing with this, we need a path to ground. So, horn switch, right? This, the horn switch is closed. When the horn switch is closed, right? When you press that, the steering wheel, right? The, the switch on the, on, the, on the steering wheel, you're actually closing this circuit to ground. What does that do? That gives a path for current to flow through here, through here, through here, and through here. And that's what we want. Okay? That's that's stage number one, phase number one. What's phase number two? Phase number two is, see, you come over here, come over here, come over here. There's another path over here. This will be closed when this is activated. See the dotted line? It'll be pulled in. When this is pulled in, and they didn't mention the terminals. See, they didn't mention the terminal here, here, here. But anyway, you have two two horns connected to it, right? The low horn and a, and a high horn, I guess the pitch or something. And so anyway, when this is activated by closing the switch to ground, then this will be activated and then the horns will go off. So blue, red wire here, blue, red wire here, all right? First thing, let's say it doesn't work. Well, my first thing is easy access. Where can I have easy access? I'm going to go to the fuse, obviously, right? I should measure 12 volts here. That means the fuse is good, okay? Now, to get to the horns, to get to, it might be a little hard because it, right, right side of front bumper. It's a little hard to get to it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check the relay output over here, okay? How do you do that? Watch the video when I do the hands-on, and you'll, and you'll know how, right? What should, if this is closed to ground, when I hit the, the horn switch on the steering wheel, right? And this is closed to ground. We said this activates this, and this activates this. So if I measure 12 volts up here, and I measure 12 volts here, what does that mean? That means all of this circuit has been activated, and this switch has been closed, and I have a good ground. That's why I have 12 volts. That's why my first point of attack is always to go on the other side of this switch. If this is 87 or 30, something like that, I would go to 30, or whatever the pin is, the terminal, uh, go right here. This will tell me a lot in one shot. Because I know I have 12 volts here, right? 
The question is, is this part of the circuit being activated when you hit the, ho the horn and when, when, you, when you close the switch, basically? This will tell me if it is. If I get 12 volts here, <clears throat> that means this switch is closed. The problem is over here. If, let's say I come over here, I get zero volts. That's a problem. Now that means I'm not connected to, to, to this point. I have no connection on the switch. Is it because I don't have 12 volts here? So what's my next point gonna be to measure? Remember, first you have to know the theory. You go out there and you're gonna measure the relay in the circuit. And I'll show you how to measure in circuit. You do not take the relay out like I've seen so many times. Don't take the relay out, out of the circuit. Me put in with a power probe, 12 volts here and the ground here, and then take the, the, take the relay and measure it out of circuit, giving it 12 volts. That's nonsense. You have to measure it when it is in circuit. And there is a way to measure it. Okay, that will tell you everything. So, we keep this relay in the circuit, in the terminal board. Okay, we have, we have a problem. We have zero volts over here. Well, if I have zero volts over here, I don't expect these horns to go off. Right? So, obviously, the problem is not here. Let's go back. What's the next point we said? I'm going to go over here and make sure I have 12 volts over here. Right? So, I come over here to this side, and guess what? I measure... 12 volts here okay so does that mean that i have 12 volts over here not necessarily what's in between here and here a diode what happens if this diode is open oh, oh they call it instead of forward bias they call it reverse biased let's say this is open can i still have 12 volts here i certainly can through the fuse how much is the voltage drop across this? Well, for germanium diodes, it's usually about 0 0.6, 0 0.7. For silicon, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So whatever it is, we measure 12 volts here, right? And if I measure, let's say, uh, 4 volts here, whatever, I'm losing too much through this. There's something wrong. So I should be measuring maybe around 11 or something over here at this point. So again, we started a point of attack, I always call it point of attack here zero volts going to this my next one over here over here was 12 volts that means this is all good okay that means he's not it's not his fault right now what's responsible for him this part of the circuit to turn him on let's see if this part of the circuit is working so i come over here 12 volts i come over here on the other side this might be in in, in one unit you don't know it might be in one relay control module. See, so there's a module. It might be in the module. I can't get to this point, but I could get maybe to this point. Remember, see the dotted line? And, and then there's a control block. So maybe I cannot get to this point to measure, right? But I'm going to find a point, maybe to the horn or somewhere that I could find, and I can measure somehow by sticking in leads. I'll show you. So anyway, let's continue. I have 12 volts, 12 volts up here. And I go over here and I hit the horn. And I hit the horn. When if I can measure this point, how much should I get? Probably zero, zero, close to it or something, right? Because why? I have a path to ground. If I have 12 volts over here, that's a problem. That means this is not act this is not activated current. So, point of attack here, point of attack here, point of attack here, to see, to make sure when I hit it, the horn, switch, this is going to ground. If it's not going to ground, this will not be activated, this will not close. So, if he's not, cl if he's not closed, don't blame him, blame him, or blame the ground, or blame the switch. Usually these two are the culprits, right? So, when these two go bad, this will not work. If this won't work, this will not work. If this won't work, zero volts, they will not work. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please go to my channel, Joel Trinus Schematic for Auto, to see more of these videos. Thanks.